Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create multicolor data bars using the ref function in Microsoft Excel. So as you are seeing my screen, I have here name, then the sales amount, and here I have created sales data bar, and I have used the ref function and conditional formatting here to show these data bar. Then we have here quality score. Again, I have created quality score data bar using the wrapped function. So now I will show you how you can create this. So let me copy this data and let's add a new worksheet here and paste that data here. I have used rand between formula here, but you can put your actual number. Now here I will show you how you can create the sales data bar. Okay. Let's take here quality score. So I'm just copying this. Let's paste this here and here we will show the quality score data bar. Okay. Let's apply the same formatting here and same formatting here also. All right. Let's go to the view and, and remove the grid lines from here. Okay. Now to create the sales data bar, we will use here wrap function equal to wrapped r e p t this function and we will select the text in the text we will put this pipeline in the inverted comma number of times so how many times you want to repeat this we can select this range but since this range is very big if i will hit the enter then you can see it will take lot of numbers so i will divide it by some number so that this number of times can be reduced so i'm just dividing it by 200 okay and i will fill this down so it will look like this and now let's go to the home align this left and here let's take this bottom align now i will change the font so i'll take here play will this one and just hit the enter it will look like this make it bold and the font I will take around 15 or 16 then it will look like this all right now the same thing I will do here or we can copy this and paste this here now only thing is because this is in percentage so we will not divide it by 200 we will multiply it by 10 15 or 20 so let's multiply it by 15 then fill this down press ctrl d or if you think okay this is very small then you can multiply it by 20 okay here in place of this pipeline i will take the text zero so that the format can be changed and i will reduce the size from 16 to around 10 or 11 okay so it will look like the stack this is the bar chart and this is looking like the stack bar chart now we will use the conditional formatting here i want to give here the threshold wherein sales amount is less than 3000 it should be in red 3000 to 6000 should be in yellow and above 6000 should be in green so let's select this range and go to the home conditional formatting and click on new rule and I'll go to the use a formula to determine which cell to format. And here I will put the formula. So the first rule we will put select this range B2. I'll just remove the dollar sign using F4 thrice. This value is less than 3000. Then the font should be in red. So I'll take the font in red. This one. Click on OK. OK. So here you can see it is in red wherever it is less than 3000. So let's put another rule. So let's open the manage rule window and here we will add the rule. Go to use a formula to determine which shell to format. And here we will use end function and because we will use the rule v2 which is this cell is greater than or equal to 3000 comma the another logic we will put v2 is less than 6000 then close the bracket the font should be in this color orange 
okay add new rule and this time again go to the same option and we will take equal to b2 is greater than or equal to 6000 format and the color we will take this light green okay okay apply if I will recalculate the seed from the formulas and just click here calculate now or press F9 since we have used the rent between formula in the sales amount so it will be changed on every refresh every recalculation then this sales data bar also will be changed. Similar condition formatting we can put here wherever quality score is less than 50 should be in red 50 to 70 should be in orange and equal to or greater than 70 should be in green so quickly we will do that select this range press alt od to open the rule manager click new rule and the cell we will use d2 so go to the user formula to determine which cell to format equal to d2 is less than 0 0.5 which is 50 percent format as font red this one okay okay new rule and this time we will use end function and d2 is greater than or equal to 0 0.5 another logic we will put comma d2 is less than 0 0.7 that means if it is between 50 to 70 percent then it should be in this orange color okay and the last rule we will put if d2 is greater than or equal to 70 percent means 0 0.7 then format this as this light green okay okay apply okay so here you can see friends you can use this trick in your report or in your dashboard it's quite easy and you can make your reports more attractive. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Friends, if you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for watching.